Say hi to everybody in YouTube land. Hi! hi. Again, and you said, what did you say to me when I said, I'm going to ask you questions about adopting older well, kids? Well, you asked me this stuff like over and over and over and over, and I'm just going to give you the same answers. Okay, then why don't why don't you guess what the questions are and answer them? Okay. How wait, do you wait. feel about teen adoption? How do you feel about teen adoption? Uh, would you, do you then answer, I, answer each question. Okay, question. how do you think about teen adoption? I think it's great because, you know, most, a lot of teens need house, they need clothing, they need food, and, and they need family. They need and family. once in a, and then once they start to get older, they, they start to grow yeah, older they and came, they don't feel welcome in the world. Yeah, because they can't provide from this, you know, so. Okay. Yeah, they're too young. Old. No, they're too young to have, like, a job, or some, sometimes they don't have a job because they don't have... Good education. Okay, and what would? But anyway, what and the, the other question is gonna be like, okay, what do you can, think? Yeah, go ahead. Should adopt teens? Yes, you should adopt. Yes, I got the chicken out of my teeth. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Where was that from? Chick Fil A. <laughs> okay, so what was the question? What? Um, I think the other question. So this is my daughter Ruthie. One of my heroes, to be honest. Okay, so do you remember when Ruthie first came to America? Because part of this. Oh was my there. gosh! She yes. was so young. Ah. She's so picky. She still is picky, but you know she's my best friend. And what? Tell me about when she first came here. What was funny about her? Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you some of our secrets. Okay, so when she. Ooh, when, secrets. Not like that, but like when, <gasps> when she first came here, like. She w okay, so we went to the airport, airport, uh, airport. So like we can like pick them up, and then the, <laughs> the and then there was she, and then like Aggie and her and Nathan. They were like so quiet. <laughs> they were also quiet. So I was like, I remember. I didn't know I who remember. I was. We were the loud family. They were the quiet. They're family. like, hey! I remember. Um, they didn't know we who were, I'm talking because they didn't know who we were. We, it was so I remember funny. we um when we bought Nathan a soccer ball and a teen boy was there from the Mestices and then and then so they played soccer in the airport. Fun. Okay, but now okay, so tell then, me what she liked and didn't like when she first came was here. Was she cheese? She, she didn't cheese. like she hates cheese and she still does hate cheese. Cheese. And she only eat, for breakfast she only eats cornflakes. Um what's the Mr. Jerry's no. waffles. She eats waffles. She eats chicken. Um, she, she joined our family two years ago. She was twelve or thirteen when I met her. She's fifteen now. And um she was injured when she was a small child, so she missed a lot of school. And one of the things that I get asked about adopting older kids is, um, will you have to homeschool them? Will they be able to go to school? People have this idea that the kids aren't going to be able to function academically. And I just really want to um, brag about Ruth a little bit. I'm so proud of her because uh, school was hard for her in Uganda. Uh, I met with her teachers in Uganda and they told me that she didn't try very hard and that she, uh, she wasn't a very focused student. And then when she came into our family, she is probably the hardest worker academically of any of our kids. She always uh, wants to do her homework on time. She won't do anything till her homework is done. Um, I don't homeschool my kids. That's a question I get a lot. If you adopt these kids, do you have to homeschool them? She's laughing because she knows I don't have the grace for that. That's not my gifting. They go to public school, and one day we were talking, and I said, sweetie, help me understand. Like, you're so motivated for school. She never wants to miss. Uh, 
And I said, in Uganda, your teachers told me um, that you weren't motivated. I'm, I'm confused. And I have to try to say this without getting choked up. But she said, Mommy, then I had no hope. Now I have hope. And I know that I can get a good education and, and I can be the things I want to be when I grow up. When I was in the orphanage, I didn't have any hope for my future. So I'm just so proud of Ruth and I'm especially proud today because just yesterday uh, we went to her parent-teacher conference at her school. And in just one year, the strides she has made at school, I'm just blown away with what she's doing, the grades she's getting. There's a, there's a standardized test in our state that kids take mid-year, and Ruth was really discouraged because last year she got the lowest um, level on it. It's a one, two, a three, or a four, and she got a one last year, and she was really discouraged on the English part of the test. And um, her teacher told us yesterday she was three questions away from getting a four. What? Yes, yes. That's incredible. You should be mad at yourself for not getting I wanted to you see those three <laughs> questions I would have got it right then I got to get it for, but then I did it. But I'm sweetie, so mad. <laughs> a year ago, would you have ever thought you could get a four on that test? No. So you have worked so That's hard. That's amazing. Yes, I'm so proud of her. I just, I'm just overwhelmed with being proud of her. So excited. So I just wanted to... Give her a little shout Yeah, out. she deserves to be bragged and plus, she's so beautiful. Look at me. So hi. Hey. You know you have some fans on uh, YouTube, Agnes. Yeah, and this is my godmother. You know that? Yes, your godmother. And you yes. taught me how to twerk. Hey, I thought I was no. your godmother. She taught you me how to twerk. You are my good, good godmother. God, I thought I was your godmother. I'm your god aunt. <laughs> Jared thought, you what? I thought I was a godmother. Right. Uh, <laughs> okay. No. Rachel McKenzie, I remember when I first met her at the airport, she was very quiet. No, no. Yeah, she was very Jared, quiet. get out of here. But, okay, so when we were, when we were at the airport, okay, she, she was saying this thing in Amara to her little sister, Hannah. She's like, she was just like yelling at her, like, like you know, because she, Hannah, I don't know. What was she saying? Do you remember the words? I don't know what she was saying, but I know she's like, like, she was getting mad at her and thing. But, like, Rachel, she's so fun to hang out with. She's really awesome. She's, she's like, another one of your good friends, right? She's one of my good friends. Damn. Okay, so Julia, uh -huh. who's this? This is my daughter, Rachel, that just turned 15. She's so shy. She doesn't like to be on camera. And I'm her son. But, um, when Everybody knows you're not her son. You're not my son, but I do love you. Yes. And I, when I we thought about adopting a teenager, Rachel came home when she was 13 and a half. And we were prepared for a scary, aggressive, um, angry, um, difficult teenager. And what we got was anything but aggressive or scary or angry. Hey, fine. What are you doing, brother? Oh, I I'm trying try to squish I myself. No, 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 no. help me. No. Mommy, over here. Okay, so I remember, like, whenever, whenever she does something wrong, she was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's what Ruthie and I like about her. Because, like, yeah. even, like, if she, like, let's say if she's doing my hair, and then she pulls, like, she pulls it really hard. She was like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Are you mad? Are you mad? Oh, my God, what's that? Come down. She's Angry. We got this loving, joy-filled, amazing, mighty young woman. It's such a gift to us. And yeah. she's she's awesome, and people shouldn't be afraid. They should automatically assume that a teenager will be difficult, or that it will be too hard for them, right. or that it won't be the same. That they won't be able to bond or have that same right. relationship that they do with a newborn or a toddler. Right. It's, it's completely wrong. Right. It, come and come and hang out at our house and see. Can I have this? What kind of bread is it? Gluten. <laughs> Free. Yes. Wait. Why are we doing only booty and? Okay, well, because they're in the video that I, the video clips that I have. Oh, you, yeah. These kids are awesome. She's Rachel's a total blessing. Awesome, and of she course is. your goddaughter over here. We know she's awesome. I'm awesome too. Yeah. <laughs> she really is awesome, and she was she was adopted as an older child too. Mm -hmm. They're incredible. She's going to be a doctor. She's going to build churches and orphanages, and they're they're going to change the world. They're, they're already changing the world. They're awesome. Amazing. Don't be afraid to adopt. Oh, here's a little story of a mom and dad. She's no Angelina. Yeah, and he's not Brad. We're raising lots of kids from all over the world. Three bad boys. That's your niece, the girl. Sam and Andrew, it's important to mention. We're born in New York City via two C-sections. Matea was adopted in 2005. She came home.
Guatemala. Share the chicken alive. Ethiopia call. In 2008, adopted three siblings, Jared, Ella, and Grace. Adopted again in 2011. Ella came from Ukraine. Now we have seven.